Today we are going to learn about identifying reflexive, symmetric and transitive properties. Let's look at a problem. Name the property. Example, associative property of multiplication. If 2x minus 4 is equal to negative 5 and negative 5 is equal to negative 5x plus 2, then 2x minus 4 is equal to negative 5x plus 2. Now, if I take my a as 2x minus 4, b as negative 5, and c as negative 5x plus 2, I can say a is equal to b and b is equal to c. If a is equal to b and b is equal to c, then a is equal to c. And this property where a, b and c we can say belong to the real numbers. And this property is known as the transitive property. So we can say c transitive is the answer. Next problem. Name the property. Example symmetric. If mt is congruent to bz then bz is congruent to mt suppose i take a as segment mt and b segment mt and b as segment bz so i can say if a equals b then b equals a and this property is known as symmetric property which is the answer in the C part next problem name the property JT is congruent to JT I can say A is congruent to A if my A is equal to segment JT so, and such type of property is known as reflexive property. When A is congruent to A and A belongs to the real numbers. So, B reflexive is the answer. I hope you can practice more problems on identifying reflexive, symmetric and transitive properties now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.